Hello everybody. Do you like fruit? I like fruit. I like pineapples and oranges and melon. And there are lots of different types of melon. Cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon. I like grapes. I like blueberries. I love cherries. I like raspberries. I like kumquats. I like mango. I really like fruit. I like bananas. I like pear. I like apples. And I really, really like satsumas. Do you remember I told you about this book? The Little Book of Hopes, or the Book of Hopes, that was given to the school as a present. Today's story comes from the Book of Hopes, and it's called That Peeling Feeling. That Peeling Feeling is the story. My granddad told me about an artist called Joseph Boys. Joseph Boys said every activity, even peeling a potato, can be a work of art. Even peeling a potato can be a work of art. This was in the 1960s, before the internet and oven chips. So they had a lot more time to think about, like they had a lot more time for thinking about things like peeling potatoes. But even so, I think I know what he means. I like peeling things too. I like peeling candle wax from the kitchen table, PVA glue from my fingers, and I like peeling potatoes when I help my mum. And satsumas. I love peeling satsumas. Most days there is a point in the middle of the afternoon when mum is off checking on my grandparents and my brother is off in another direction shouting over the garden fence and there is a moment in the afternoon when I am all alone. I like to go to the kitchen table. I like to sit there in between things. I'm not starving. I'm not hungry. I'm not even peckish. I'm not tired. But I am quiet. I'm not bored but I'm a bit bored enough to eat fruit on purpose. Sunlight pushes through the open window, making the dust dance. I take a satsuma from the fruit bowl and I hold it up. Birds sing. I take a moment and I look carefully at all the bumps and the shine and the dots and the ends. I look at my satsuma and I think about it. And then I start, I start peeling, pulling away the flesh. Little by little, peeling it open, smelling it. I wish you could smell how beautiful this little satsuma is. It may be small, but its smell is quite delightful. 
And then, when it is peeled, I take a moment to pull off the strings. And then, slowly, I open up my satsuma, piece by piece. And when I have all of the pieces pulled apart, I put them in a row on the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all in a row. And then I eat them, one by one. I sink my teeth into the delicious orange. And as I'm eating, I take a moment to think about me just sitting, eating an orange, in the stillness, knowing that I am part of a big wide world. Like a turtle on blue planet gliding through the shallows, like an elephant walking through the jungle, I too am on this planet eating a satsuma. Sometimes I peel satsumas quietly while I am on FaceTime with my friends. Sometimes I peel a satsuma quietly when I am watching news round. Sometimes I just sit I peel a satsuma, I put all the pieces in a row and I eat them so that I can have a quiet moment just by myself. I pluck the satsumas, I pluck the satsuma segments like a petal. Before I eat them, I look at them one by one, shining in the sunlight, which makes their insides glow. The satsuma is full of light and zest and pulp and pips. I eat them one by one. It's just a satsuma. It's just a satsuma. And I am just a kid, just a kid, eating a satsuma in the middle of everything. Isn't that a lovely story? It's a story from the Little Book of Hopes. And as I'm eating my satsuma, I'm thinking, I wonder what that tells us. Well. I think it tells us to enjoy the small things, to take a moment for mindfulness, to fill our minds up with even the simplest and most day-to-day -day activity, such as eating an apple, eating a pear, eating a banana, really, really slowing down, smell, to look, to taste and being really mindful about everything, being really quiet in what can sometimes seem like chaos. Know that you are fine and you are safe in this big wonderful world. That's the end of my story today. I look forward to seeing you again. Have a good evening.
by everybody.